Hey Wanderers, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to do another community challenge. I have the deck of random community challenges here from the Discord. Last time we did the Brink of Insanity level 1 and managed to escape with one sanity, which was really neat. This time we're going to do one of these other ones. Let's see what we get. You can't run. Okay, so this challenge says, after the no-clip round, which we've already done, if you aren't engaged with a, when a new entity is revealed, you must either engage it or distract it. You must always be engaged with an entity if possible. So this is apparently a very difficult challenge. It's a level three. So we'll see what happens. So we're gonna start on the lecture hall. And I have to, I'm gonna take an item first. I'll grab these this electric tennis ball. Have to engage, it just says, okay. So I have to either be engaged or distract it. Um, I'll grab an item with the death moth. Okay, so I'm gonna get one item from the pool pile. First one, another electric tennis ball, and then shuffle the moth back in. Okay, uh, and I have to be engaged, so uh, I'll go ahead and be engaged with the Smiler. So that's one deck in hand damage. That's going to be minus four, down to 16. Then it's going to be two health. I'll start out with just one tennis ball, so that's at least going to do one damage. Now we're back to the movement round. I'm going to take the hallway here. That's going to be three from the pool pile, which is good. I need to build up my stamina, especially if I'm gonna be always engaged. It's gonna be three sanity, also good, so it's gonna take me up to 19. And then I have two navigation points. I don't wanna cover up the lecture hall, because it's really powerful having that four card from the four cards from the pool pile. Very nice, okay, so first of all, I have to take damage from the entity. It's always going to be the same every round, so it's going to be one. And then I'm going to grab an item. And then I'm going to use this other electric tennis ball. That's going to be the two damage I'm going to need to take out the Smiler. And now we're going to flip. So this is my coin. This is going to be heads. This is going to be tails. And we got tails, so it's going to be a fail. So he's gone, though. It means good, we opened up the fields. But I have to be engaged, so engage her. That's gonna be two for my deck in hand. Minus six sanity down to 13. But I have an item here, so I can use this right away to take her out. Again, didn't get it, but she's gone. No other entities to engage. I already did my engagement for the round, so I'm gonna go get some desperately needed cards from the pool pile. It's gonna be four. It's gonna be two sanity. And then I have two navigation points. I'm gonna go this way, because I have a card here. I might as well leave it there and just see maybe if I can open up some of this space. Void comes out, but there's no items. Traditionally, the void will steal an item either from your inventory or from the field of play. But we're lucky right now, we don't have any items. Um, no entities to engage, no items to pick up. I'm gonna go ahead and take this hallway straight across. That's gonna be three from the pool pile. So I have seven cards right now. Gonna be three sanity. Hallways are really good for increasing your sanity. Two, um, two navigation points. Uh, the paper snakes kind of suck. They will steal an item from you. And then if you have a painite gem, when you engage with the paper snakes, it will possibly just steal your painite gem. Um, so I have to engage. It's a good thing I don't have uh, any items or painite gem, so I don't have to worry about suffering that. I'm gonna take the negative three for the sanity cost uh, for the paper snakes. And then I'm gonna travel. 
So I'll take this, get some cards back into my deck. Four. And it's going to be plus two sanity, up to 17. Two navigation points. Um, I don't want to cover up both hallways, so I'll go this way and just lose one of my navigation points. Okay. Um, I, I guess the Paper Snakes technically doesn't deal damage, it just steals items. Um, and that's only when you engage it. So I think it's just clogging up my space so I can't engage any uh, friendly entities like the Death Maw to take advantage of their beneficial ability. I'm going to take this hallway straight across. It's going to be three from the pool pile. That's going to be plus three sanity. It's going to take me right up to 20. I always play with the variant that has thrift created of not overgoing on your sanity. So if you had 18 and you gained three, you wouldn't be able to take those three because that would technically take you over. So if you were, it would have to either be 17 or lower to take those three points. Okay, so I have two navigation points. I'm gonna go this way because this dead end's not, doesn't help anyone. Oh, found the stairs. So I need to find more items so I can knock this thing out and then get the gem from one of the other entities. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna continue traveling. I'm gonna use Lecture Hall to get four. And that's gonna be two navigation points. I'm gonna cover up the stairs, I think, for right now. I don't wanna cover up this hallway because right now there's nothing blocking it, so I have a, a good chance to get three cards whenever, whenever I like from here. I'm gonna travel down this hallway. It's another three. Have a pretty good sized deck right now. Two navigation points, which is good. I wanna fill out this side. Almond water, that could be useful. I'll pick that one up. And I'm gonna have to continue traveling for right now. I need to uh, build up more items. Again, I'm going to get a good chance of getting at least a few items onto the field of play by getting cards from the pool pile. That's going to be two navigation points. One here, one here. And I'm going to cover up the golden stairs. Go down this hallway. It's another three. That's going to be two navigation points. I will go down this way. I guess it's lucky that I got engaged with the paper snakes because I don't I haven't had anything to lose from them. I will go down to the lecture hall, another four cards. Two navigation points. I'll do this corner. Cool. It's one item. I wish it was enough to kill the paper snakes, but it's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and um, distract uh, that smile with the almond water, so that way maybe I can put some more cards, because uh, remember, navigation points get blocked by um, unfriendly entities. Uh, I'll go ahead and take this hallway. I'd like to keep the golden stairs uh, close if possible, but I am running pretty low on my pool pile. So once you run out of the pool pile, you have to reset the map, and that means everything out here is just going to be reshuffled. No telling where it's going to be. Okay, so I have two navigation points. Cover up the dead ends. Okay. Travel. It's going to be three, two, three. And that's going to be two navigation points. I will go this way, because I don't want to cover up both of these. So I lose one here, drop one down here. And then I'm going to take, go down to the lecture hall. Two, three, four. Two navigation points. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get reset. Still no items, really. Um, I will... I'll just continue traveling. I'm gonna have to reset the board. Yeah, that's two. I need three. 
Okay. So we're gonna do a reset. Everything but my card is, will get reshot with the discard. So this is gonna get replenished. Not great. The void here is going to take my item, so that's gone. But I'm going to get to draw my third card. Okay. It's going to be two navigation points. I'll go uh, this way. Boom shrooms. Perfect. Take an item. I'm going to go ahead and use that to get rid of the paper snakes. I have to engage again gonna engage the death moth which is gonna get me an item it's perfect card so I got that I have nothing else to engage so I can just continue moving up by three from the pull pile two navigation points go this way have to engage so I'll engage a friendly entity first death moth first item almond water Shuffle. I have to engage again, so that's going to be one deck in hand damage. Minus three sanity, down to 17. And I guess I'll use the electric tennis ball on just to get rid of them. Then I can continue moving. Go over here, three points, three from the pool pile. It's gonna be up by three, takes me back to 20. And then two navigation points. Take this hallway. Okay, that's gonna be two navigation points. Um, I'll go this way, face lane. Have to engage it. It's going to be one from the deck in hand. Minus four sanity, so 16. Two health. I'm just going to have to kind of soak it for right now. I'll take another hallway. That's going to help to replenish some of my sanity as well. Hallways are super powerful. Two navigation points. I'll go this way. One deck in hand damage from the faceling. I will distract doll face with the almond water. Two, three for the hallway. Can't go above. Two more navigation points. Go up this way. I'll take one deck in hand damage. Then Continue moving. So it's going to be plus one to 20. One navigation point. Yes, liquid pain. Perfect. So I take one deck in hand damage from the face thing, but then I can wipe it out. So we're going to flip. I didn't get it again. But that's out of here. So I won't have to take any more damage from it. Take this hallway. Three more. It's gonna be two navigation points, which is perfect. I've got a couple open slots over here. Death Moth Jelly. It's a good find, good for distracting. I will continue traveling. One, two, three. Two navigation points. Um, I'll go this way. Poison Hall, okay, definitely don't wanna go there. I'm gonna go this hallway and that's going to be another reset so going to be one more card from the pool pile for the uh, hallway and I will grab this item always useful then continue traveling. So, hallway three. 
three navig or two navigation points. I'll cover up these dead ends. Yes, liquid pain. Take this hallway. That's gonna be three from the pull pile. It's gonna be two navigation points. I will go this way. So I've got a good amount of items right now. Okay, so we found the stairs. We just need to find an entity and get their pain eye gem. So that's taking the hallway, three, two navigation points. Smiler, perfect. So I have to engage, minus one deck in hand, minus four sanity, 16. And I have to do just two damage. And we got the gem. Golden stairs are right there, so. All right, there we go. That was the You Can't Run Challenge, staying consistently engaged with any possible entity, so. Awesome, thank you for watching. We ended with a pretty good amount of uh, sanity left, a couple of items in the backpack. So, good game, everyone. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you here for the next challenge.